Hi there, my name is Nina. I'm going to show you today how you can pack lots of yarn onto your null binding needle. This is a trick I recently learned from a girl called Katja who runs a YouTube channel called With My Hands Dream. I'll put a link to her channel below in the description. With no further ado, let's get started. What you need is, of course, your null binding needle and maybe a pair of scissors to cut the yarn and of course the yarn you want to put onto your needle. For simplicity I decided to get a short length of yarn approximately two meters just for the demonstration. Here we are. What you need to do is to find one end, the end with, to which you are going to attach your needle. You double a part of it, maybe 20 centimeters, like so, and pull it through the eye of your needle. Leave a loop. Through this loop you are going to crochet a chain of stitches by putting your fingers into the loop, picking up yarn, pull a bit, put your fingers in again, pick up more yarn, pull, repeat, putting your fingers, pick up yarn, pull, and so on, all the way until all of the yarn is on the chain. Do leave a tail long enough for you to work a bit before you have to unravel. This you lock by taking the end of the yarn which is going to go into your working project and put it through the last loop. Pull and it locks on itself. Don't pull too tight because this knot is the knot we are going to have to open to release more of the chain once you're started. Simple as that. And the two meters? Well, they shrunk to less than half a meter. Amazing, isn't it? Okay, on to the next part. How to unravel the chain when needed. When you have reached the end of the tail that is going into the work and you want to release more of the chain, it's very easy. You just go to the last knot before the work starts and open up the knot a bit. And then you can see there's a loop where the working yarn is going through the loop from the top and to the work. This is where you insert your needle. You follow the same route and pull all of the chain through. This releases more of the yarn from the chain and depending on how big loops you did you have to do it several times to release more yarn but you simply find where the working yarn goes into the last loop Take your needle and push it through the same way. Pull all of the chain through. And it always locks on itself again, so it's safe to keep working. Well, in my opinion, this is an excellent way to stack lots of yarn onto your needle. And I hope you liked it and I hope you'll give it a try. See you again soon, I hope. Bye-bye.